Okay guys, so I'm assuming if you've clicked on this video you have just found some weird air bubble sack things under your leopard gecko's arms and you're kind of freaking out. First things first, there's nothing to worry about, these are harmless, they're just indicators of what's going on in your gecko's body. Secondly, do not prod, poke or pierce these, just leave them alone. So what causes them? Why do these develop? So basically, some people think it's to do with over-supplementing, some say it's too much food, some say it's a bit of both, and to be honest, I do think it can be either, it can be just a bit of both. It's very easy to overfeed a leopard gecko. I've touched upon this before because leopard geckos are ectotherms, they need an external heat source to make their body function, so when that heat source isn't there, it slows everything down, and their metabolic rate lowers, and they can store a lot more fat. As well as this, some people have a weird obsession with getting their geckos to have the fattest tails and that just is not healthy. Leopard gecko's trademark, yeah, is to have a slightly chunky tail, but not a, like, an obese, gross one. You need, like, a healthy one. Also, some people think they have giant leopard geckos and so they'll feed them lots more food, but I remember reading that if you've got a giant, it will usually eat as much as a normal gecko, but it will just get much bigger, just naturally, because that's in its DNA. I quite like Diego's size because even though he's nearly 90 grams, he's quite streamlined, he has nice little chunky muscles and his tail doesn't look grossly fat, it looks quite normal, good, good proportion with him. But I might be a little bit biased to be fair. <laughs> also you can kind of get into the habit of feeding your other pets every day, so if you have a cat, dog, hamster, guinea pig, you know you have to feed every day, but reptiles don't need to be fed every day when they're adults, most reptiles don't. So with leopard geckos, I only feed mine every three to four days. And they only have about five to eight crickets, and even when they do that little cute face, when they're like, give me some food, it's like, no, you've gotta be a bit strict. It's for their own good. If you're sat there thinking, well, I don't overfeed my geckos, and I don't feed them every day, but they've still got these like air sacs, what are they? This can be over supplementing and I think this is a case for Diego, I think he has had too much supplements. So that's like calcium and vitamin. Now I have mentioned in the past that not enough can lead to metabolic bone disease which is quite fatal to be honest with leopard geckos sadly. But unfortunately if you give them too much supplementing that can be really unhealthy. The good thing about getting these air sacs is it gives you that indicator that okay you need to adjust something before it gets bad. So with Diego, he has Komodo calcium dusting powder for crickets, and that works brilliantly. It really just sticks to the feeder insects perfectly. Unfortunately though, it can clump up, and I think recently he's probably had a bit too much of that. So I am gonna cut down his calcium, and I'm pretty sure those air sacs are just gonna go. I also do think that some geckos are more prone to this than others. For example, Gizmo and Mini, they'll be eight and nine this year, it's crazy. But they have never ever had those air sacs. Whereas Diego, they come and go with him. Uh, every few months, maybe, it can be months or years in between them, they just pop up and you're like, okay, we need to adjust something and then they go down. So to conclude this video, everything's okay, you don't have to panic, you don't have to rush to the vets. If however you are seriously concerned about your gecko, they are going a weird shape or a weird colour or they're really just not going, then yeah, go, go ahead and go to a reptile vet. But at the moment, if they are just this, they're totally fine and they will eventually go. I hope this has calmed you guys down. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.